how long you need to hold a drug before a surgery or some kind of intervention where you're worried about the effect of that drug depends on two things, the half-life of the drug and the mechanism of the drug. Aspirin itself does not have a long half-life. It's rapidly converted into salicylic acid and the half-life of that is gonna be dose dependent, but it's still pretty short. It's not drug half-life in the case of aspirin that influences how long we wanna hold it if we're going to hold it prior to a surgical intervention. Think about what are we trying to achieve when holding or stopping anticoagulation. The recommendation to hold aspirin for seven to 10 days assumes that your goal is to have no aspirin effect remaining on your platelets at the time of the surgery. It has nothing to do with the half-life of aspirin, but the effect aspirin has on your platelets. It irreversibly inhibits COX-1, and that's what affects platelet aggregation. We don't have a way to reverse that process. So where that seven to 10 day comes from, well, by seven to 10 days, you will have recycled out all platelets that have been affected by the aspirin. Three and five day comes from is the question, well, how many normal platelets do I really need to have adequate hemostasis? Some data that suggest that you only need about 20% normal platelets in order to have adequate hemostasis for most surgeries. And so that is about 72 hours of new normal platelet production. The guidelines are definitely mixed on this. Multiple studies that have asked, do we need to hold aspirin at all? And those have shown mixed results. As a practicing hematologist, most often I am asked to weigh in on these and to undergo neurosurgery or spine surgery. The surgeon is asking to reduce the risk of any effect of the aspirin as much as possible. And that's where the seven to 10 day recommendation comes up and you'll still see that in recent literature. The question you need to ask is, does aspirin need to be held at all? And that depends on the surgery and the reason that the patient is on the aspirin. Depending on the circumstances, you may consider holding it for three days, five days, or seven to 10 days. As always, that decision needs to be made on an individual patient basis. Hope that helps. Follow for more information about blood.